Hey guys, what's up? It's PoopJ here with Damn Gamers, and today I feel like doing a commentary, and I haven't done one in a really long time, but I feel like doing um, like a story time thing because all the fags are doing it, so why not me? And let's face it, I'm probably the biggest fag of them all. So I'm going to start this series off with a huge bang. Um, <laughs> get it bang because I'm going to talk about the first time I ever had sex. Uh, this was in the summer of 1987. I was 16 years old. And uh, I just had stolen my dad's Camaro, and I was driving down with one of my friends. Not my boyfriend, me and him dated a little bit later on, but right now we were just friends. And we drove all the way down to Cancun, Mexico. Um, I live in Ontario, Canada, uh, London to be precise. And um, I, we drove all the way down from there. We made it there in uh, about 16 hours or so. Um, I'm a pretty slow driver, but um, there wasn't that much traffic going on, so we managed to make it there. We got to Cancun, Mexico, and um, when we got there, there was this big wall of uh, machine guns and um, a picture of Kim Jong-il, because he was alive back then. And um, we, we, we took each other's pants off, we uh, quickly snuck underneath the border, and lo and behold, we were in Cancun, Mexico. And while we were there, uh, we just happened to notice a bar called Bar La Pub, and we there was, we wanted to walk in there because uh, you know <laughs> alcohol, man, alcohol is cool. Woo! <laughs> anyway, um, uh, we went in there. We grabbed a few uh, broskies, broskies, bro, drinking beer. We're cool. Don't worry about us. Anyway, um, we we drank a few. We drank a few Dr. Peppers, and then uh, we left. And um, we had to buy a hotel, so we sucked the homeless guy's wiener, and he gave us a few cents, and he let us stay in his box. And we used that couple of cents later on. This comes very important in the story. When uh, we used a couple of cents to buy a hooker, which happens the next day. <clears throat> so after I wake up with my asshole in deep pain because the homeless guy had sex with me the previous night, um, we decided to um, just head downtown, see what was going on, and we found this hooker. Her name was Chuck, and um, she was a big girl. I mean, she had a mustache and everything. And I think she was American. I don't know. Uh, we never really got to know her that well. But anyway, um, Chuck and I were <coughs> got to know each other. I gave her a couple cents, and um, she started sucking my wiener. And um, she started off by biting my wiener head, and um, slowly and gently she put her thumb into my asshole. And um, it got really crazy, because when she started deep-throating me... Um, her mustache got against my pubes and it made me like laugh and it, it makes me laugh to this day and uh, I'm just tickling my nutsack right now guys it's just to remind me of the sensations anyway um then after that uh, Chuck pulled down her pants and then I grabbed uh, her tits and I started milking them because we needed something to drink on our way back you know come on common sense fuckers anyway yeah we cause you know free drinks and all uh, Mexico via Mexico whoa anyway um I started milking her tits, I got about five gallons of it, and then she eventually started pouring out this like dust, I'm just like, I think you're dry, and she's just like, no, keep going. So I kept milking the tits, and then eventually, wow, I couldn't believe it, a gold brick fell out, and um, I had enough money to fund damn gamers, so I did. Um, not after I spent pretty much almost all of it on cocaine. But anyway, um, we went over there, um, I, I put, she, she bent over, over the uh, the counter, we're in, a, we're in a church right now, by the way, because um, Chuck is a priest. And um, we're doing this, and Chuck turns around, I put my, my penis inside her, I don't know if it was her vagina or butthole or mouth, um, it was really dark because it was like noon and all the windows were like like boarded up because, you know, 9-11 just happened. So, um, yeah, Chuck and I were, were banging away, I was banging Chuck so hard, I was banging it, like right now, oh my god, guys. Literally, one of my testicles exploded right there, and it was, I don't know what happened, like it was wild. Like, the universe just came in to, to us. You know why Cinco de Mayo is a thing? Because me and Chuck were fucking that hard. Exactly. Anyway, um, I finished. Um, I came inside Chuck's um, bald head. Um, and it was nice. I rubbed it in there. And then, a few hours later, an afro came out. So, that is scientific proof that um, God is real. Um, so, there you go. Anyway, um, after that... After we finished up, and uh, we said our goodbyes to Chuck because Chuck only had me for like another 30 minutes, we decided to spend that time at the uh, Olive Garden, but it's not called Olive Garden in uh, Cancun. It's called El Olivre Alejandro. Um, that's not a real Spanish word, I don't think. Um, but anyway, we went there, we ate, and then um, Chuck sucked my wiener really hard, and then I realized at this point that my friend had gone missing. So we went out in town, looked for him for about 35 seconds, and then we left. 
Uh, Chuck later committed suicide on a road trip back up to Ontario, Canada, and um, it was really sad. So um, I made it back home. I told my mom I just went out fishing, and um, it was great. If you guys ever um, have a dad who has a car, and you don't have a car yourself and you want to go somewhere with your friend, I highly suggest doing it because chances are you're going to have a lot of fun, like I did. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'm Poop Geo Damn Gamers, and um, I'll be telling you guys a story later on. So, um, hallelujah.